Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. Been a little bit quiet lately because I've been working on the Indomitus box for Warhammer 40k, painting up the Red Wolves chapter, which essentially is my own homebrew Space Wolf chapter that I've been playing about with recently. The um, Primaris Chaplain or Wolf Priest uh, that I've painted up that you can see on the screen is what I'm going to be taking you through today. It's a great model to paint, really enjoyable. Uh, before we get started though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so the first stage, uh, whenever I start painting a model, is a base coat. Um, as I have done with a lot of models in the past, I've used Wraith Bone, which is a, a Games Workshop spray um, for the con use of contrast paints and things. And that's what I've gone with with this model. The base, you can see I've already painted. Uh, we'll skip that because you can essentially base however you want. Painting the model is what we want to be looking at today. So the next step in the model is painting the armour itself. Because I've gone down the contrast route with the um, actual undercoat, I've been able to use a contrast paint, and in this instance, I've used Contrast Black Templar um, to essentially paint the whole of the armor, including the rock he's got his foot on, um, including all the, the uh, smaller areas under the arms, everything essentially, the backpack is all, has all been painted with this Contrast Black Templar. If you want to watch when you, you're putting it on, I've noticed that in a few of the areas, if you do want to use the any of the contrast paints, is that it pulls away sometimes from the, the ridges and the really raised areas, so you get little white dots, which is a little bit frustrating, so you have to go back over it. However, if you put it on there nice and thick, that shouldn't happen. Um, and like I say, with the this Wolf Priest uh, or Primaris Chaplain uh, from the Indomitus box, uh, it's, it's really, really good. There's so much detail on there that this, this paint does so well. Um, the contrast paints are really good when using it with the Primaris uh, Marines. In opposed to the old Marines, the older Marines don't have as many details, I would say, even though a lot of them do, like the metal miniatures do. A lot of the old plastics, unfortunately, don't have as many of the details as with some of these Primaris minis, uh, and the contrast paint does really, really well on them, or at least that's in my opinion anyway. So the next step was um, the actual furs uh, that I've green stuffed on the on the model. If you want to have a look at green stuffing, I might put a video about that. Make sure you comment down below if you do want to see that. Uh, it's really really simple process to actually get the um, uh, like furs and things uh, with these models because they're, they're so big, they're so good to use. The actual paint I used on that fur was the contrast wildwood. And then went around the model and picked out any of the, the bone areas and also all the um, like parchment that he has hanging off the, the back of his um, his backpack he, he, he's, and also the, the weapon. He's got a, like a, 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 small, a small one there. Uh, and I've gone around all this with Contrast Skellington and Horde. You can know I've used this loads of times in the past with my other minis because it's essentially a great paint. Uh, it's it's almost, almost, almost replaced my Xandri Dust. Uh, so then I went starting to pick out some of the smaller details and I started with Contrast Blood Angels Red just on the on his actual um, like his, his staff that he's holding and I also picked out some all, all the little bits of wax uh, around the model and the strapping around the, uh, his book as well that he's got strapped to his, his sort of back hip um, just so, so I could pick out all those details. Red is a really important colour for, for these uh, essentially they're the red walls and I, want, I do want like, the handles and things of the weapons all to be red. So the hair, uh, I went with a uh, Dawnstone. Now this is the actual highlight paint that I've used, or the layer paint that I use for um, all the um, standard marine armour. Um, but in this instance, I'm using it for his hair because I wanted him to look a bit older um, than the marines. And you can see it's quite a, uh, a block of uh, grey. So, but I will go over that in a little while with the null oil. The shoulder pad is painted the same way as the rest of my Red Wolf chapter, which is always celestial grey. Um, and then we put the transfer straight on top of the celestial grey. I think it's a really good paint, um, light grey, to to really show off the detail of the of the transfer. Uh, it really sticks out quite nicely, and you'll see that when we get to the end. 
So the the next part of this, I thought the the um, the bones and things needed uh, a little bit of a highlight, so I went around them with the shabti bone. I would have done this in the past, and I know if if you've watched my other videos, you've seen I've done this in the past when I've used Andrew Dustin. It's basically the same process, just to pick out any of the raised areas really on on those um, uh, area on on the bones and things to really make them stand out and look different from the rest of the parchment. Then moved on to uh, Lead Belcher, which is my standard go-to for all silver. Uh, I think it looks great when you combine it with an all oil wash. Um, it, it's a, a really nice metal colour uh, and it works really well for any any of the miniatures I, I painted anyway. Um, so I picked out all the little details just around the weapon, uh, around his actual uh, pistol as well. Um, there's a, a few little metal details just dotted about as well. Just uh, on well, all the little uh, rivets around the uh, armor, you can go over those with a little bit of metal as well. But you don't really need to because you've got uh, using the contrast paint. You'll see that they highlighted anyway, so it worked quite well. On the the actual rock that he stood on, these uh, foot on rock syndrome <laughs> that he's got there. Uh, what I did, I, I picked out the dawnstone and I just quickly dry brushed that as well, so it matched the base in. Uh, you essentially just do this as the base. Really, really try and stick with the theme. Um, it does it does blend into the armor a little bit with this one, but um, I fixed that a little bit later with a bit of snow that you'll see. Uh, when we get to the end of the video so the eyes are always a little bit of a pain for me uh, I've used a very very small insane detail brush from army painter and all I'm doing is using corvus black going at the center um, of the eye center of the face next to the nose and pulling out sideways so you get a line I did go a little bit out with that uh, and I t you can see I'll tidy it up in a second with the white um, well essentially I do the, exactly the same thing with the white into the nose and pull it pull it out uh, giving you a, a, a black line with a white line inside and then you can pick out the iris with a little bit of corvus black there's no point going with like blues or whatever color you want to do the iris because it's they're so these minis are so small when you get them on the table you're never going to notice that they, they've got the the um like the, that color iris at all so you can really just take your time and you can see i'm just literally touching a little bit of corvus black just in the center of the eye there to give that effect and i think that looks great you stick a little bit of um uh, skin flesh down in this instance i've used contrast golem and flesh I'll just pop this all, all over the, the the actual the actual face itself, and you'll see that the the black around the eyes because of doing the black around the eyes, it really makes them stand out. If you do just a white line with a black iris, it sometimes blends into the flesh a little bit too much. Uh, but with this in this way, you've got like the black outline as well. I think it looks quite cool. I then picked out all the gold details, and I've gone with Retributor armor for this. Um, I use Retributor armor on all my other. Um, uh, space walls of the red wolf chapter that i painted um it's a little bit bright and a little bit too bright if, but it's the one i've got so that's what i've gone with um so uh, i just picked out all the details around the the shoulder pads the the chest plate there's a skull on his knee um there's a, a few bits and pieces around the, the his staff that he's got a little bit uh, of wings on the on his pistol so all those areas i've painted with this gold and you'll see when we come to the shading part um the the what uh, an effect this has it, it is actually a really good looking uh, gold when you combine it with a bit of uh, null oil some little details on the on the backpack as well that i've picked out there um, and one of the main things is the staff and you can see when you're looking at it the, the the gold is really, really bright in comparison to the rest of the mini and a little bit too bright for me, which is why um, I, I went a little bit heavier with the, the Noil Noil, uh, which actually made, in, in my opinion, made uh, the gold look perfect uh, on, on the mini. Uh, I think it does look really good. One of the very, very small details I always like to do, especially when he's got this much of like the parchment sort of stuff um, hanging off him, is, is write words. Now, it's a little bit uh, difficult to do, but I use a little bit of Corvus Black, and I've got uh, one of these really fine-tipped um, like writing implements. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll Google it and stick it in the description below. But essentially, uh, like the um, Chinese use them to do all their fancy writing. Uh, so this is the way um, I actually get it on there because it's really, really like super fine tipped. Uh, so you can just dot a tiny little black on there and pick out that writing really, really easily. And then you can see we've gone on to the shading part of it and you don't need to shade the whole of the model uh, because of using the contrast paints. But you do want to pick out any of the uh, areas around the um, the silver, any of the areas that you've we've gone gold with. And what this does is darken it down really, really nicely. And what, uh, it seeps, seeps down into all the recesses giving you a really nice shaded area just around the the shoulder pad as well I've just done slightly inside the shoulder pad uh, just so you've got like a nice dark line around it as well which works really well 
Um, just take your time with something like this and you can see there it's looking really good. While I was waiting for the null node to dry, I, I did the um, the actual transfer. And I used the forge oil transfers for this. Uh, it's just got the, the red wolf, obviously. Uh, and I used a little bit of microsol and microset. Start off with microset, put that on the, the actual shoulder pad. Put the, the transfer on there. Then pop a little bit of uh, microsol over the top. Um, give it a, a minute or so and then just dab it off. And that transfer is never going to move. It's really, really good stuff. I definitely recommend it. Basing wise then I've just put a little bit of snow around the base to, to blend it all together and I've just used Valhalla and Blizzard for this, another Games Workshop uh, basing material which is really good. Hopefully, um, I've not noticed it yet but I know in the past we've used things like baking soda and stuff, it can go a little bit yellow. I haven't seen this with Valhalla and Blizzard yet so I'm hoping it really does hold that colour uh, because it's really nice striking white for the, the snow. And all I've done is, do is essentially painted it around the base as you can see there with the finished mini. I am so pleased with how this turned out. The, the armour um i wasn't sure about i thought it was a little bit too gray but i think it looks really really good now especially with you combine it with the rest of the details you can see all the little parchment there with the writing on it looks absolutely fantastic if i would just left this as like the, the um skeleton horde color it wouldn't have probably looked right but thank you so much for watching guys i really do hope you like this video and i hope it helps you and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i, I enjoyed actually making it i love painting these miniatures especially when it comes down to the space wolves you know I did that big giveaway recently but i really wanted to build my own chapter um of and my own force of space wolves to actually uh, take on the tabletop but yeah thanks very much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button have a look at the other videos i've done in the past as well there's loads on there and i'll see you in the next one